I've been making pies for a, a million years. I love pie, and uh, today we are going to make a fresh blackberry pie. We're looking for eight ounces of butter. We cut up this butter into little pieces and then get it back in the fridge. Now, if it's a real hot summer day, you throw this in the freezer instead of the fridge because you really want to you want to work quickly and keep it cold. So I'm putting it in the refrigerator. When you measure out flour for pastry, you do you don't want to sift it and you don't want to pack it. So you do the dip and sweep, and that's this. So a pinch of salt. So we have our flour here. Uh, and I'm gonna put the butter in that's cut up into these little pieces. And then we quickly start cutting in. And if you feel, this whole thing feels still very cold. Now we're gonna mix the water in to the pastry. So you wanna go a little at a time and you wanna work very lightly and quickly. What I'm doing is going underneath and just letting it come together like on, on its own in a way. I'm not trying to smash anything down. I can already tell I'm going to have to get more water. It's going to come together as a mass with little pieces coming off of it. Uh, and, and after that, we'll be able to just stick it. It'll, it'll stick to the mass. It's still just a little teeny bit dry. And you can tell as I'm trying to ball it together that it's falling apart. So let's look at this one little drop, what it does. That one drop really brought that together. So I'm just gonna throw this into the refrigerator and let that sit. We are going to blind bake a crust. And essentially what that means is pre-baking a crust that you will then put the filling into. So we're gonna slightly sprinkle the, the surface of the table with flour. The dough is nice and cold and uh, it feels supple and not too hard, not too cold to roll out. Here, here's the rolling out technique. You start just gently rolling out. If you feel that it's sticking to the bottom board, which it is a little bit, you take a little flour on there on the top, flip it over, and then cover that with a little flour and continue. Now as it starts getting a little bigger and you can't just flip flip it over you can cover it with a little flour and you can take it on your pin and flip it over like that the goal here is to get this crust uniform and about an eighth of an inch roll it onto the pin very gently pick it up like this and then roll it roll it onto the plate now when you put this on the pie plate, you roll it on there, but you don't ever want to push. You want to you let things fall into place. So I'm lifting it up here, and I'm letting it sort of rest in there. We take our very handy tool, the dough scraper, and we're going to cut off the extra dough. We're going to make an edge, and we want enough to roll, but we don't want to have too much. And now we'll start to roll up to make a crimp. Now if you feel like I feel here, there's a little bit too much dough, you can pull that off of there like that. I'm gonna go back around and crimp this with the fork because I think it's gonna look nice with this pie. I am gonna throw this into the freezer now and we'll let this, uh, we'll let this rest again before we blind bake. So it's been about 45 minutes. This pie crust is, uh, is cold all the way through. And now we're gonna do what's called docking, which is poking holes with a fork or something else, which makes it so that the air bubbles don't form, uh, don't push up too much. It gives a place for some air to ex escape. In blind baking this crust, we're gonna use beans as pie weights. You can buy commercial pie weights, but we are going, we're using beans because they're cheap. And we're going to pour beans into the crust with a uh, parchment paper liner so that the beans will hold the, the pie crust down while it's baking. Now we put the paper into, 
into the crust. Fill up the pie crust with beans without pushing them down. And you really want to get a good amount in there. So now we are going to go into the oven to blind bake this crust at 450 degrees. That's going to stay in there for about seven to ten minutes until it starts getting blonde and bubbly. We'll look at it in a few minutes. Let's have a look at our blind baking crust. It's really starting to firm up. What we're going to do is take these beans out now. You can scoop out a little bit with your measuring cup. Don't scrape the bottom because you don't want to do damage to your crust. You can just pick it all up gently. And you can use those for the next five years. Now this crust is a little bit firm and up here, but we're going to put it back in the oven. Now I'm going to turn the oven down to 350 and put it back in the oven so that it can cook all the way. Baking pastry is not necessarily about time. This is going to be in for another 10 minutes probably, but the answer really is you cook it till it's done. And we're going to keep an eye on it because now that we've taken the weights off, we have to be careful to watch the crust as it's baking in this stage because we want to make sure to push down any air bubbles that start forming. So let's have a look at this. And it smells, you can really smell that it's done. Each of these is, is about a cup of, of blackberries. We're going to take one of the cups and put it into a saute pan, I mean into a saucepan, excuse me. And the, the object of this is to make a sort of uh, a jelly or a, a, binding, uh, a binding blackberry liquid to hold the rest of these fresh blackberries together in a suspended blackberry heavenly jam. So we're going to put in a little lemon zest, little squeeze of lemon juice. So we're going to put in a half a cup of sugar. Now we're going to put this on the stove top and just get that cooking. Putting half a cup of water in, it's starting to boil there. When they start cooking like that, I don't want that water to cook out too much, so I want to help the blackberries break down. There are three tablespoons of cornstarch. We just put a couple of tablespoons of water in with that. Mix that up into a little slurry. A little at a time, start stirring. And you can see how milky that is. As soon as that's boiling at all, pull it right off the stove. So now we are going to take that out and let it cool down to room temperature. Set that aside. Now we're going to make the filling. So we take the remainder of our berries, put them into a mixing bowl. Now we take our room temperature uh, thickened blackberry jam and pour it or scoop it onto the other berries and then gently, gently toss, toss that around so that it coats the other berries. So we let this, this crust cool down for 10 minutes so that it's room temperature. Now we're going to just fill up this pie. Now the thing to think about when you're filling a pie is not to smash anything or cover anything. You want to just pour it in there and let it fill itself in a way. Just gently push it out for about an hour. We're going to let this sit in the refrigerator. Oh my god. <laughs>